they're going to tell you you need, you know, the $5,000 one. You just don't. Welcome back to another Vision Matter video. Today is myself, Rob, and joined by Cole over here. And today we're going to be talking about EinScan 3D scanner hardware. What kind of PC do you need? And no, sorry, they're not compatible with Macintosh, unfortunately. Uh, but what kind of PC, CPU, RAM, and graphics card do you need to run one of these bad puppies right here? like this. This is an Einscan HX blue, laser blue light 3D scanner and uh, joined by also the Pro HD and the H over here and there's a couple other selections but really we get the question a lot, is my PC good enough? Is my laptop good enough? What kind of hardware do you need? So today we're going to answer it uh, and really it's just going to come down to you need a great CPU for processing all the data a pretty good graphics card for rendering and showing all the data and as much RAM as you can handle to handle as many points as you want to scan. Cole, take it away. A processor, somewhat recent. I mean, if the computer is two years old and costs less than a thousand bucks, you need a new one. RAM, as much as you can get. GPU, NVIDIA, CUDA architecture, 10 series and above. 1050, 60, 70, 1650, those will be fine. What we do see is a lot of people saying, all right, I'm building a computer for this thing. I've got a 3090. You don't need a 3090. No integrated. You want an NVIDIA card, 10 series and above. That's what you need. Uh, getting a, RTX? having a, it needs to be NVIDIA CUDA architecture and within two years old. If your computer costs less than a thousand bucks and is more than two years old, you need a better processor. Oh, not necessarily. Oh yeah, less than a thousand and two years old, yes. If it's four years old and it's a crazy gaming rig, you'll be fine. Yeah. Um, there is a question about Intel processors versus AMD, and we do have some customers using the Ryzen uh, processors, and they do work. So here in the studio, I think we've got a i7 9600K, 3.6 gigahertz, 64 gigs of RAM, and a 2070 RTX. GPU, um, and it does a pretty darn good job. I've got other guys that built crazy systems and they're doing full motorcycles with 20 million points. Uh, I have found that scanning about 400,000 points uh, in rapid scan modes without markers and things tends to be a limit, but it, it's done a really good job um, so far. We also, I have a gaming laptop that in some of the original videos, uh, like the unboxings, like that era of videos, 2021, I think, um, I was using a laptop, it was a little gaming laptop. If your computer's a piece of crap, go to Best Buy and buy a $1,500 gaming PC with a NVIDIA card in it. There you go. Really? So we had a laptop. It worked great. Um, but there's a, yeah, it's a good time. So you don't need to get the craziest laptop. You can run these things if you're doing smaller objects. And it's really as simple as that. I mean, there's not, what else can we say? Buy a gaming rig. Buy. <laughs> no, really. It doesn't have to be a $4,000 one. But if you go to a store and say, I need a basic gaming PC, that's gonna guarantee that you have a decent pro, uh, uh, GPU, make sure it's uh, NVIDIA, uh, a decent amount of RAM and a good processor. That's that's what you want is a gaming configuration, not a high, super high-end VR 144 refresh rate 4K. You don't need any of that. I do recommend at least 32 gigs of RAM. I would opt for 64 or more if you can, if you're, especially if you're gonna be doing big high-resolution scans. Uh, the more points, the harder it is, and the better your CPU, the faster it's going to process all those points. And uh, really, other than that, that's about it. No max, no integrated graphics. Yeah, totally. Uh, here at Vision Matter, we do a lot of 3D scanning for industrial applications, and we sell a whole variety of 3D scanners. So if you're wondering which one is best for you, uh, we have a whole team here, and we do train everybody on most stuff. We, we love using these things, frankly. It's a lot of fun. So give us a call. One of us will pick up the phone and we'll answer your questions or shoot us an email and we're happy to help figure out which one's actually right for your application. And it's not always straightforward. Like you got the Pro HD with the turntable and if you're doing a lot of small parts, you probably actually want that over the Blue Laser HX. Uh, and there's other things like sprays and marker pyramids and things like that. They can really help the process. So we are here to help you figure out the right thing. We also sell 3D printers and specialize in aerospace, medical, oil and gas applications and engineering materials like Peak, Ultem, PPSU, high temp materials. That's our bread and butter. That's what we've been doing for years now. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of cool other stuff that we do. Anything else uh, from, from Cole or Matt or anybody? 
Look online for the best computer, look at the GPU and subtract 20 from it. <laughs> if it's a 3090, you'll be fine with a 3070. You don't need to build, yeah. Nice. For real. I like that. I like that. Go to Micro Center. Uh, buy a nanopolymer adhesive if you need vet adhesion stuff. You, when you go to the computer stores, here's the thing, because everyone who works there are computer nerds and like are super into it. They're going to tell you you need, you know, the $5,000 one. You just don't. And you don't need to learn all about what DDR4 and, and, and channel timing, all that means. Just make sure you got a lot of RAM, a newer processor. Just get an Intel. It's fine. Don't get an i3, get an i5, 7, get a big number. Whatever the biggest number is, go down by one <laughs> and buy that, and you'll be fine. Some guy <laughs> called and was like, yeah, I'm getting this scanner. Um, I need to build a new PC, so he, I've, I've got a 3090 and, you know, 128 gigs of RAM. And I was like, why? It's unnecessary. You won't see the benefit of a 3090 in scanning. Dude, dude, this one guy recently had like like dual Xeon eight core, sixteen logical core processors, and like two hundred and fifty six gigs of RAM. He's and, like, like, oh, do you think it'll work? Be like, we it get it. Insane. You have a cool computer. Like amazing computer, amazing. Computer. Probably not, dude. You should got dual thirty nineties and you'll SLI. Be, you'll be great. <laughs> Probably not. Not impressed. <laughs> not impressed. Oh my god. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate uh, all the views. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments down below. Let us know what else you want us to cover or talk about. We love what we do, and we love when you like what we do on here on YouTube or Instagram or wherever you're watching this. So we appreciate your comments and input and your follows, of course. So subscribe, as the subliminal message on the wall says. Any last words, Cole? I like me, too. I like Cole, too. Cole's great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. I'll see you on the next video.